Hello Libras, welcome to your love reading for September 2024. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, let's get to your love reading. Oh, slippy, slippy new cards, slippy, slippy new cards. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Libras, for love, for the period of uh, September 2024, OTC, well, what do they need to know to reach your head around, become closer to universe and closer to them. Any messages, please, for love, what are the energies prior to September 2024 for Libras in regards to love? We have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Make sure you click on your Vimeo link below for your Vimeo reading, which will be the next three months. So I will have October, November, and December in that reading. Energies in September, we have the Four of Swords in the upright. Interesting. In my playlist, your 2025 Sun and Moon readings, 2024s are still in there. See if they ring true for you or somebody else. And we end on the Five of Swords in reverse. As you move out of September into October, well, you guys really are the peacemakers, huh? Finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, or for a friend in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. So Libras, prior to September, with the Queen of Swords in, in reverse, we have someone that's really, really giving it to you, really handing it to you. Giving you the business is what I often say with the Queen of Swords in reverse. She's somebody who like has a bug up her a bee in her bonnet, so to speak, to keep it politically correct. And she just is lashing out at you or was lashing out on you. Very cruel. Um, the words that she says, she doesn't mince words. She just kind of like throws them at you like swords. They can be very hurtful. Um, she lacks compassion. Uh, sometimes she can be vengeful. Sometimes, like I said, she can attack you and you feel like you need to defend yourself. So not a very nice person. Uh, who is who has words for you in um, prior to September? And I also think it, it you don't deserve it. Whatever it is, I think it's just somebody who. I mean, the Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody who could be mentally unstable. So um, you know, I, I don't think it's anything you did. I just think it's a them problem, and you need to realize that. In September, with the Four Swords in the Upright, here you are just chilling and saying to yourself, okay, I'm just going to relax. I'm not going to let this person get to me because you guys really value your peace, your calm, your balance in your environment. So you're not going to let this person's emotions control that. And, you know, you're just, like I said, trying to um, take yourself out of it. Maybe um, you guys are known for like escaping off to side rooms and, um, you know, losing yourself in a book or a movie or a game or something like that. You have means of escapes to get away from it <clears throat> so that you can have some mental downtime. And I feel like this is what most of you are doing. Some of you actually uh, seek counseling or um, therapy of some sort um, to figure out what to do in this situation. So that's what I'm saying. And you're needing to do that and contemplate so that you can kind of rejuvenate, restore yourself, get your energies back to deal with this person or just deal with life in general. As you move forward, we have the Five of Swords in reverse. So like I said, you guys are really forgiving. The peacemakers, here you are forgiving and forgetting um, what this person has done. You don't want to harbor resentment for them. You don't want to um, move on kind of um, having that. Um, some of you are actually going to consider reconciling with this person for whatever reason. Um, I mean, it's really admirable the way that you guys are sometimes, but then sometimes you also get taken advantage of because you are so fair. Um, but I'm going to leave that up to you. I mean, you know what they say, like about anger and resentment, it's like drinking poison or, and, and, and what, and so the other person will die, like something like that. Um, so I mean, I get it in a way. Let's see what the clarifiers have to say. Why is the queen of swords here in the reverse for energies prior to September for Libras? Who's this person? What's this energy? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Um, so it's almost like they just come at you. And I feel as though you don't even know with the two of wands in reverse, you're like, who is this person? Uh, I feel like you had a partnership with them. You were on the same page. And now all of a sudden, you don't even know what's going on. I really do think um, 
you don't know what to make of this or why they're being like this in the least. And you're a little bit fearful about what's to come. So you're being very careful, um, you know, making sure that you kind of don't do anything to make anything worse. Um, the page of swords in the upright had you had you watching this person very carefully to know what their next move was going to be, but also trying to find out why are they being like this? You're actually being curious and trying to study and get the facts and maybe look at their social media and try to put the pieces together because really it makes no sense to you and the four of pentacles in the upright is you kind of gathering your things and and holding them really close to you i often think of this guy as holding his teddy bear in a security blanket because you know you want to make sure that you're trying to make sure that as little um you know practical harm comes to you as possible so whatever uh whatever can make you feel secure and grounded you're going to hold on to why is the four of swords here in the upright for libras who's this person what's this energy okay this person could be the mother of your um the mother of your children there could be a uh, pregnancy involved um they could have uh, very good attributes that you're kind of considering um but the the main thing I'm getting here, what, what you're thinking of when you're contemplating this with the double card here in reverse, which is a card of Capricorn, is how this person has two sides to them. Um, on the one side, they're very kind, they're very nurturing, um, they're very comforting. And then on the other side, with the double card in reverse, it's kind of like, yeah, I need to get out of this situation. This person's really toxic. It's not very healthy. But I feel as though you stay in the situation. Um, I think you think of getting out of it at times, but then with the Eight of Pentacles and the Upright, I see you saying, well, if we work at it, um, we can figure something out. We can resolve this. Um, so I see, again, that's a very admirable way of thinking, but who's really doing the work here, you or them? Um, why is the Five of Swords here in reverse for Libras as we move out of move out of September and October. Who's this person? What's this energy? Okay. So, I mean, you really do kind of relent. You kind of move back your goalposts. You're giving them another chance with the six of wands in reverse, um, letting them have this one, letting them have this victory, I feel, um, just because you think that it'll, it would be best to kind of do so. Um, six of swords in, in the reverse shows them returning back to you or you returning back to them to figure out what the issues are. How can they be resolved? what's the problem here um can't just you, you just can't move on uh without having those kind of answers or um getting that figured out and i don't think you can move on from this person why is the king of pentacles in reverse despite this person being very possessive uh, this person feels that they have ownership over you they they feel your property in a way um so you know be careful of that that, that they're kind of being like that they're being excessive um in regards to you and Keep in mind, you're a very independent being. So if someone's being like that, is it really in your best interest is what I would say. So that's what I have for you for love this month. If it does resonate, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for your Vimeo reading this month. It will be the next three months. So it'll be October, November, and December. In my playlist, your 2025 sun moon readings, 2024s are still in there. See if they rang true for you or some else and then finally look me up on facebook instagram tiktok like share subscribe donate refer a friend and support my efforts always greatly appreciated otherwise libras i will see you in your vimeo reading next adios from veronica garnett bye